Hey, welcome back to Rusty Judgment. Today, we have something different for you. We have left our state of Minnesota and I'll let you guess where we're at. Don't try this at home. This is going on Rusty Judgment. Yeah. So some of you might be thinking, Tom, don't you have a few things going on right now? And if you're thinking those things, you would be 100% correct. It may be a little irresponsible that we came to Arkansas in April to go side by siding. <laughs> But uh, one might argue a lot of things I do is irresponsible, so why wouldn't this surprise anyone? So what we were doing is, one year ago, we came down to Arkansas for the first time, and we had to make a water crossing with a car and a trailer on the back of it. All right, dear Jesus, please let this not be a rusty judgment. Okay, do you want to cheer real quick? Oh my God, we just drove across the river. <laughs> <laughs> And we got lost in the mountains and we thought, that was awesome, let's do it again, only with the proper equipment, not our personal vehicles. So we came down here with uh, my wife Dawn's parents and my dad, and we're gonna do some side by siding for uh, three days, four days, and then we're gonna head back home. This is Dawn's dad, so if you don't know what a side by side is, we call them side by sides. I think people call them UTVs or OHVs or ATVs, I don't. We call it a side by side because you sit next to each other. Side by <laughs> side. By side. <laughs> it's very romantic. Dawn's dad. <laughs> and then uh, this is our old one that was Dawn's parents. We bought from them broken like a year and a half ago, and then I fixed it, and then we had it fixed again, and then again. <laughs> and, it's... and will it hold up? We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> and then we have another one that's back over there beyond, beyond the pickups and trailers. But. Uh, Dawn, I think you should show them the view and stop showing them me because the view is much more beautiful than anything else around here. So we were lucky enough to find a cabin on the side of a mountain <laughs> overlooking a lake and mountains and uh, to have our family with us. So it's pretty awesome. So we are getting ready to head out on the trails and by trails, I mean whatever we find from our destination right here. We have done next to no research as far as where we're gonna go and how we're gonna get there. We're just gonna hop in the side by sides and go. I am, like I've said in other videos, a warrior, a uh, mentally, I get mentally consumed by uh, anything that could and would and probably won't ever go wrong. And so there's some things that could go wrong here. Uh, this machine, is new to us, has a ridiculous amount of miles on it, which is why I bought it, because it was super cheap, which means that a lot of things could break on it. You did just take it in though, to have it. I did. Looked at, and the guy said everything looks good, but that doesn't. That doesn't actually mean much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that machine is super old. It is actually three machines in one because it was totaled <laughs> and then blown up and then pieced back together. So that's three machines in one. And so a lot could go wrong there. And then Dawn's dad's machine actually just had the transmission rebuilt and has not been driven at all since it came back <laughs> from the dealership that he got it at. It, yeah. it hauled home on the trailer and then got relocated onto the other trailer and then hauled down here. Right. So we don't know much about that one either. Yep. So yeah, we should be good. The other thing is that Last time we were down here, we lost cell phone service and had no idea where we were in the mountains. Mm -hmm. So there's also the concern that we could get lost mm -hmm. again, but you do have extra gas tanks. Oh, yes. <laughs> I have two two gallon jugs of fuel with us. So four gallons between three machines should be all right. A cooler with food and water, <laughs> a toolbox yeah. with tools, and another toolbox with tools. Okay. So. We're, per, we're we're trying to be smarter. This channel will always be called Rusty Judgment, <laughs> but we're trying to stop making Rusty Judgments. And the only other thing would be is if we come to any river, rivers we can't cross, right? Yeah, 
that are too deep because yeah. this machine is our longest and shortest yeah. machine. So. All right, well, should we head out and see what we find? Yep. <laughs> So day number one, we set out and we had known on the Airbnb listing, it said you could ride out from here. Right. It said it was ATV friendly. And so we talked to someone here and he kind of told us the general direction right. to head out. We got into the mountains pretty quick, actually. Yeah, very quickly. And what did Maggie say as we were going up, our 11 year old? I don't remember. I just know she didn't like it. She was like, we stopped at one point and she was like telling my parents, she was like, I'm terrified. And I was like, oh shoot. I think as parents, we're always trying to run that line of like pushing the limits with our kids. I think yeah. you want to run that line between not like emotionally damaging them, but I'm also fairly sure having we were, them be flexible. Go ahead. We were way far away from emotionally damaging. <laughs> well, it's like you don't want to scare them too much or they're like, we never want to go side by side. Well, I, it wasn't that scary. If it was that scary, I would have been terrified. <laughs> were you scared when we were going up those curvy roads and like big drop offs on the sides? So I was most mostly concerned with my dad oh yeah because he's in the old side by side and he doesn't have a lot of off-roading experience yeah i grew up in the country but he's a city boy and so i don't uh i i was mostly concerned for him i yeah. think and you were really worried you're like i want to make sure everyone has a good time yes i also wanted to make sure he was having a good time and all the kids are having a good time and dawn's parents i think are good Pretty much all the time. Yeah. <laughs> which is where Dawn gets it from. It's even pretty on the side. Look at the video up the river there. Yeah. Right. I know. Oh, that's kind of deep. It's fine. Oh, they're going real slow. It's fine. <laughs> Finally, what we've been waiting for, right? We got our river. He's got. Oh, he's got yeah, plenty of clearance. Yeah, I grew up. They were like. Woo! This is really pretty. It is really pretty. Video that one. That was pretty. Yeah. Cool. Um, but yeah, no, with the kids and, and my dad, I want to make sure they're having a good time. So then I probably didn't have that great of a time because I was worried about everyone else. Yeah. Which is kind of like our life. <laughs> <laughs> and you were worried about breaking down. And yeah. so the first day when we were out though, we actually had cell phone service. Most of the most day. Most of the day. So yeah. we weren't really worried about getting lost. Um, we found this one cool road. We were kind of winding up a mountain and then we stopped at a scenic overview and then the side by side your dad was on didn't want to start again. Yeah, which I guess I never even realized because it's been around. So Don's parents owned that for between six and seven years before us. We've owned it for like a year and a half. And we just we don't use it much. We we use it around the yard. I run down the road to her parents with it. Like so that's short the, trips, like little yeah, bits here and there. Never a few miles here and there, like per day is the most that thing gets used. And so it just I guess I didn't even think if you drive it for an entire day straight, it's going to get hot. When it gets hot, it's not going to want to start for some reason. Mm -hmm. so. But it, after a little bit of work, you guys got it going Yeah, again. we were able to get it going again every time. It just, <laughs> just <laughs> continually did it. I would guess... My guess is that it pays a lot. So time will do that when the mold is hot. We're good. Oh, poor Corbin. All right. Ready? Yep. Oh, he's, he's unsure of this road we're headed towards. <laughs> Maybe this looks like a slower pace road. Let's see. Yeah, see, it's a road. Well, no, I think what that sign means, Don, is you're turning. It's it's turning. 
turning into a road. <laughs> no. Not that this is a road. Some of these roads don't look like roads. <laughs> some of them actually are roads. <laughs> if it's on the map, it's a road. We're up really high though. Oh my goodness. I know, and that's the thing is somehow we need to get back down. I know. And if we're on a road like this, how's that down hill right. going to be? More like, how fast are we going to go down, right? <laughs> oh, no, we will not be going fast. No, but I mean, how steep down is oh, what I, I mean. Yeah, what how quickly will it, how quickly will the descent be? Oh, my. You just never know what's around each turn. I know. That's oh, look at this. Oh, <laughs> we are up so high. Did you think you were gonna die? Well, I think <laughs> Tom thought there, you were gonna uh, die. So. There, well, there were some some spots where he was. Hang that on. might have been worse than Boulder Lane. <laughs> yeah. Don't peek over the, over the side. Just no focus. I was telling Don, I was like, I please please say he keeps the inside and rides the brakes really hard. <laughs> oh, that was that was fun. <laughs> was that fun, Gage? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Was it scary? <laughs> kind of. Do you trust Grandpa though? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For day two, we had looked at some of the like actual ATV trails or OHV. What yeah. does OHV stand for? Uh, off. So this is that's an Arkansas thing. Is okay. my understanding OHV is off highway vehicle. Okay. And we had known there was like specific trails. Yes. For OHV, there's a lot actually. And so somebody found uh, Mill Creek OHV trails which is supposed to be a pretty good like off-road park. Us being people who don't actually know what an off-road park is, <laughs> we... Well, so we were kind of trying to decide, like it was cool driving around here, but we didn't yeah. know how much how much we driving we could do straight from the cabin. Uh -huh. So we we're like, should we trailer somewhere where we could spend a full day of just tr un endless trail riding um, and really get some good miles in? But yeah, and it, I think that, sorry, go ahead but it was a little bit over an hour drive from here yeah and it ended up being up a mountain and down a mountain <laughs> so we got kind of a late start we didn't head out of here till like 10. yeah and then we're like wow how come it's taking like two hours to go 30 miles yeah. um, well but... it's because you go up a mountain and down a mountain <laughs> and then the address tom had where it was taking us to that was... kind of was reminiscent of our first trip to Arkansas. <laughs> There's like any of y'all who know about Arkansas, there are roads that you start driving down and they don't go anywhere. <laughs> they zigzag you back into literally nowhere's land <laughs> where there are abandoned trailers and trailer houses and shacks galore. Some people live in a few of them, but the majority of them look like they have been vacant for a long time. And then you just stop. And it's very hard to turn around at these places. Yeah. So we we had finally, we had seen a little gas station, which again, when we're out here, we're not seeing even gas stations. Like no. you can drive an hour without seeing anything. Yeah. Um, so we had seen a little gas station a few miles back and I had thought I'd seen a sign for the Mill Creek OHV trail. So I was like, why don't we go back to the gas station and we'll ask. And so then 
um, they were like, okay, uh, you can actually park in on trailer here and then it's just up the road. The mm. other thing, by this point it was like 1230 and there was thunderstorms forecasted for that for afternoon. later that afternoon yeah. even the gal at the, the gas station she's like don't stay out too long y'all like it's gonna it's supposed to start storming pretty soon and i knew tom would not want to drive the trucks and trailers back through the mountains when it was raining either. right but isn't that kind of a valid valid thing i didn't want to do valid. do i want to climb a mountain and then go back down a mountain no in, in the pour, in the pouring rain nope with a snow or with a trailer and side by sides on the back and a truck full of people no so that was totally valid <laughs> all right so it's 12 22 so we're getting a little bit later start than we had hoped but the only problem is there's supposed to be thunderstorms starting around four o'clock um and we don't want to drive back the way we came in thunderstorms so uh, we'll see how much riding we can get done before the weather starts to turn. And this is all Grandpa's wanted to do for <laughs> six months. Is Forge a river again. <laughs> Off-roading is side by side. <laughs> I made it. Now I gotta right. come back. This is not how we wanted to start this day. Right, now is it punctured or did this... We can hear it hissing. Yeah, I can. Well, we got good news and bad news. Good news is we can fix it, and we got a compressor and all that stuff. Bad news is the floor jack is in the truck. Maybe, maybe six miles back. Yeah. Thing I forgot. To had a good idea. But if we Where got, if it would air up the tire, we could maybe find something. Put something underneath it, right? It Where did you yeah. They're parked. We, we found the, the entrance. At the entrance of the trail. We found it, but. Is there any? try to block it up if we could find yeah, it. Yeah, no, if we could find something, you could high center it on. Oh, okay. Right. You can let off the... Alright, now, now that this is off, you don't go on anywhere near it, okay? <laughs> oh, he's dead. Hey, Corbin, this does need to go down quite a bit. Cheers. <laughs> I'm glad they're the coming to <laughs> good use. That's really cool, though.
so we get to this, <laughs> this like huge hole. So I have seen enough like dirt every day shows on Discovery or something like that. Anyway, yeah. it's like these off-road shows. I've seen enough of those to know that when you look at the mud hole, you see the exit side and it's like a hump. Like people have been trying to crawl it. Yeah. You know that thing is deep and you know okay. that in under the water is a wall. Oh, that's not good. Okay. And so I was like, nope, not going to try it. Not even going to try it because <laughs> I'm too low. I'm too long. Yeah. I'm driving a limo here no, through the woods right. and ain't going to work. But Don's dad, being the man that he is, <laughs> said, move on by, young man. I'm going to show you how this is done. What but was the problem? He was on his spare tire. His spare tire is a lot smaller than his other tires. And I think that he was being gentle for your mom. Well, he wasn't going super fast either because he didn't know what was at the bottom of it. Right, because like you don't know water. what's under the water. So if he would have had a little more speed and maybe his regular tire on, he probably would have made it. I think if he had his other tire on, he probably would have gone for it. Yeah. But... He, we also know even if he got across, no one else was going across, so it didn't actually matter. Uh, it would have been bragging rights. It would have been fun to see, though. Yep. Yeah. all turned around headed back out of there because we didn't want to abuse our equipment we weren't going to get through that mud hole yeah and it's just the way it went and it was getting late in the afternoon so they're like well let's have lunch quick and then your dad's wouldn't start again, again. yeah and he had kind of felt like it was losing power and so yeah. we could have even just gone further on the road we were on was kind of cool but again it was like getting late you could tell the wind was picking up so we're like it's gonna probably start storming we didn't know how reliable your dad's machine was going to be, so it's kind of And like, again, I did not want to drive through the mountains in a rainstorm. Yeah. So it felt, it kind of felt like a bust of a day because we had driven all the way out there yeah. to <laughs> thought, thinking we're going to put all these miles on and it didn't mm. quite work out. Yeah, we put next to no miles on. But that's okay, right? It is okay. <laughs> we're learning that these things are okay because mm. it was a beautiful drive. For anyone not driving, it was a beautiful <laughs> drive through the mountains and it, Dude, there are some of the drop-offs where it was like pavement and then it went straight down yeah. from the pavement. There was no grass, there was no, no dirt, no nothing. No guardrails. It was a good time. I still enjoyed mm -hmm. it. Driving yeah. back through the mountains was much easier. There was a semi in front of us. <laughs> semi with a flatbed deck full of like huge boulders. And so he went like 15 miles an hour the whole way. And that made it super simple for me to drive through yeah. the mountains because I just, I went super slow. I think I must not have gone as slow on the way there. Yeah. But anyway, return trip, much simpler. It actually felt faster. Then we have one more day left, which was today. And we decided just to kind of ride around here again, mm -hmm. but actually found some really cool roads. Mm -hmm. Corbin and I are going to pull the machines off right now. We're actually not going to use this one today. My dad was driving it. He actually left this morning. And so we're just gonna pull this one off the trailer so we can get at my father-in-law's. All right, let off the brake straight, turn the wheel to the left a little bit. All right, keep it straight like that. Uh, all right. <laughs> Who said to go right? didn't end in a river but I don't think we can cross that. <laughs> That's funny. It just ends. That hasn't been ridden by a dog like that. Well it makes sense why we were the only tracks down this road. Right? <laughs> All right, guess we'll go back. We found a lot of dead ends. <laughs> A lot of dead ends. <laughs> and I don't know that anyone in Arkansas has dead end signs <laughs> because the roads don't tell you that. <laughs> it was just remarkable. So we've been around Horsehead Lake by Hunt, um, kind of by Clarksville and Ozark, yeah. but um, north yeah. of those two. And it is, it's so fascinating to me. Like it's a county road, uh -huh. but it is like a gravel road that goes down to like- One person's driveway <laughs> yeah. or one person's house. But it was a county road somehow. And we're winding through the mountains. It was awesome. It was super cool. Uh -huh. How's the view? It's amazing. <laughs> it's 
though. It is a little chilly. And I think I realized even like with the kids, um, they'd get kind of antsy like, well, where are we going? And what, like, what's our destination? And where are we gonna stop and eat? And where's the bathroom? I think it's been really good like flexibility to be like, we don't like we literally do not know like and my dad will say like he would always say growing up he's like we don't go on vacations we go on adventures and that was my childhood was like we don't know what's the down this road let's just go see yeah. and sometimes you hit a dead end and sometimes you get to a super cool cool view and you're like that was so awesome and then and sometimes you get robbed or murdered but <laughs> i mean <laughs> most of the time you Still don't here today. <laughs> <laughs> so i think it was a good it was it was good for the kids to just feel like it's okay, like we can go somewhere unknown and just uh -huh. let the day unfold how it will and not always have like yep. a specific plan. So now we're back, we're gonna have a campfire. We're gonna sit in the sun while we got it because it's cold at home still. It is, yeah. So it wasn't super, it wasn't the best timing for us to get away, but um, actually after our Florida vacation, my dad too was kind of like, Florida was great, but it wasn't <laughs> the type of vacation like, he had hoped for so he yeah. had actually been looking at trails and places to stay and all that too so yeah don's dad doesn't like sitting around so ever since we had gotten back he was he had been kind of looking and so we're like mm -hmm. well uh we'd been wanting to come back too and mm -hmm. it's a totally different kind of vacation it's nice just to be out amongst nature and not have tons mm -hmm. of people i mean we <laughs> We can probably count on two hands the number of people we've seen in the in last three days. days. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. a totally different kind of trip, but it was fun. And and your dad too, even though yeah. you were worried, how do you think his trip went? I think he had a blast. Yeah. Yeah. I think so too. I think he had a blast. So Arkansas, I think we'll be back. Maybe permanently. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. See you next week. We'll be back out at the farmhouse. Lots to do. Lots to do out there. Bye-bye. <laughs>